Hey guys, wanted to take the time to go over my three different cases, two from Amazon.com and one from MinorDudes.com. How I'm wiring them, the power supplies going in each one, and all the AMD cards that I've chosen to go in them. So the first case I'm gonna go over today is the smallest of the three from Amazon. This case came with an eight GPU riserless motherboard, its own MSATA hard drive, four gigs of RAM. It comes with three intake fans and three exhausts. The power supply I got from Parallel Miners. This one is a 1200 watt power supply with a breakout board and 16 gauge wire. So this board is a BTC B75 version one. It has eight slots for your GPUs, 16 slots for PCIe power, the hard drive, the four gigs of RAM, and the fan with the CPU right under the power supply. The power supply is an HP 1200 watt with a breakout board and 16 gauge cables as I said before. Now for this power supply, if you're running it on a 110 volt system or normal house power, it's gonna only do 900 watts. If you're running it on 220 or 240, you're gonna be able to run this at the full capacity of 1200, obviously following the 80% rule. Now for the wiring of the board, because the board only needs enough power for the risers and to power the CPU, I've chosen to just put two powers in right from the breakout board. And then the power will mainly come from the powering right on top of the GPUs themselves. For this rig, I've chosen to go with AMD 6600s for multiple reasons. For price, availability, I also chose to pull out all the plastic tabs on the end, just tape it over just to manage the dust as best as possible. Now I'll put in all eight and then go over the wiring. Now, as you can see, I've gone ahead and secured and wired the GPUs. For this build, we have five MSI 6600s and three PowerColor 6600s. I've chosen, like I said before, the 1200 watt HP power supply. Now, some of the reasons I chose this power supply is not only is it much more efficient than many of the other power supplies on the market, but it also makes a tremendous amount less noise than the others. I've decided to pair with this from ParallelMiners.com, their 16 power out breakout board. This one comes with an amp reader and a sync port. Now they provide a wire that lets you link up multiple PSUs so they come on and off together. Now that I've completed the full build for server case number one from Amazon, next video will be on the server case number two from Amazon and some of the differences between them. So please like, comment, and subscribe, and look out for part two.